How are we doing everyone? Sam here from United People's TV. I'm with Flav from the Fighting Cock just to talk about the game this weekend. A couple of weeks ago, this was you chasing for the league, mm. us chasing for the top four. Mm. As it transpires, by the time this game may have happened, Chelsea may already be champions. But it's got a different tone altogether because it's the last game at White Hart Lane. It seems to be United of the team if you're moving out of a stadium in London, <laughs> play United last, right? Yeah, because uh, well, you played West Ham, didn't yeah. you, last year? Uh, yeah, we're. Um, I'm, I'm, I, I've got mixed feelings about it already. Uh, I haven't even really thought about the game that much. This is the first time I'm actually going to have to talk about the football because all the conversation's been about. Do you care about the football at all for this game? Yeah, of course. I don't want to. I mean, I want to win. Mm. I mean, I don't. I mean, it'd be typical of the old Spurs of old if we somehow lost this game. Um, but the, the most important thing is. Is, is kind of saying goodbye and processing the fact that the stadium I've known, the home I've known for, for, uh, and experienced everything good and bad at Tottenham is going to mm. be raised to the ground. And, you know, that is, at, at the moment, f I feel quite sad about is that, it. So that's not something you've really thought about up until this point? Is, it, is, it, is that because you've been actively avoiding thinking about it? Or no, just... I, I've, been thinking about, I've been thinking a lot about that leaving White Hart Lane. Um, I haven't been thinking about the football so much, um, but it's uh, it's a weird one, mate. Because Man United have been in a, for a fortunate position in that they've just because of where Old Trafford is and there's just lots just of it. lots of space. Yeah, you can you can they can build up. But Spurs, if if you've been to White Lane, you'll know that it's a it's packed residential yeah. area, um, and it's taken a long long time to get get us in a position where we can actually build a stadium there. But it wasn't. We weren't able just to expand on White Lane as it is. It, that mm. has to be knocked down, and, and, and it's just. I mean, the plot for the new stadium is huge. It's, it's like. Well, the new stadium looks. It looks good already. You've already built three quarters of it. But yeah, it's coming up. You know, I don't really know what to think about it because, for United's perspective now, prior to that Arsenal game, we were still in the top four chase. We were yep. still in the Europa League chase. We're now into the Europa League final. But after losing away to Arsenal and drawing against Swansea in the game before that, Mourinho clearly doesn't give a fuck about finishing in the top four. He made, he made his priority. He's done the right thing league. though, hasn't he? Oh, he? Of course he's done the right thing on paper because statistically if it would have been harder for us to beat Arsenal away, you away, Saints away and Crystal Palace at home than it would be to overcome Celta Vigo over two legs and then Ajax or Leon in the final. So he's played the numbers game. Yeah, he's done the right thing. He's played the week. Ajax... You know, I watched the game last night. And you're playing them in the final. Um, Ajax didn't look good against Leon. Leon should have smashed them. They, I, I, Ajax scored five in the semi-final, but they conceded four as well. So. Yeah, he, he, they, he, they, they, um, they, they could have been buried in that game. They, Leon had so many chances, yeah. and I think you've got absolutely no, no, nothing to fear going into that final. I think you're going to win it, and you will get Champions League. So, so on that respect, it's. It's it's fine, you know. It's the goal was to get into the Champions League, but I think if you spent the money you have and you have a manager like Mourinho, yeah, um, you should top four as a minimum, in it. Yeah, the, the the expectations in the league were to challenge for the title, mm. and it never really happened. There wasn't really any point this season where Man United were sort of like there was a slow start, mm. and then Chelsea ran away with it up until December, and then they've just been basically what Jose Mourinho used to do at Chelsea. Chelsea are doing just they got the lead and they held on to it. Yeah. in the league but you know going into this game I don't know what team United are going to play against Spurs because we put out a weakened team at Arsenal yeah. rested Pogba, Valencia, Bailly, Blind and Rashford lost 2-0 we've got three games now in the build up to the Europa League final none of which Mourinho will give a shit about do you think but I mean the thing he'll want to do is he'll want to piss on your chips yeah, he'll yeah. want to spoil the, spoil the party uh, yeah, at he White Hart Lane he will he will uh, there, there isn't uh, and you know, to, to some extent, it's still a game of football. I mean, what the fact that White Hart Lane's closing isn't nothing to Man United, nothing to you, nothing to to Mourinho. Why mm. wouldn't he want to go in there and, and make it as difficult as possible? There is the, the problem for United and, and Mourinho is if he does. I think the only thing I might be wrong here, right? My, my gut feeling is what he's going to do is going to go in and he's going to he's going to shut up shop to some degree. He's going yeah. to make it really difficult for us to break him down. Nobody should come to White Hart Lane and play football anyway because Chelsea tried it and we beat them 2-0. City tried it 
and we beat them 2-0. Yeah, your home form's been phenomenal, isn't it? In incredible, the best I've ever seen uh, mm. at Tottenham. We are fantastic at home. Um, so I wouldn't, well. I wouldn't say it would be a good idea for United to come out and try and play us, but um, it would, it, I can't see him just throwing the game. No, he didn't throw the game against Arsenal. He just knew that Celta Vigo was more important. Yeah, but I mean, we, we, did, more, we did have chances in, in the start of that Arsenal game, but not there's, many. There's so much time now, though, between mm. the, the, the final and this so what's game. Like 13 days between yeah, now so and the final. You, it, it, I, I think he... The, the fact that you played last night means that your, your players will be tired, but I think he plays a strong team. Well, if you imagine, like, we're basically, what we're going to do is play the players that were on the bench against Celta Vigo will start against you. And that's, that's De Gea, Rooney, Martial, Carrick, Mata, Jones, Smalling. All good players. Exactly. Really so he's, good players. He's not exactly going to put out a complete young 11. Tuan Zavi made his debut against Arsenal. It was actually Fosu Mensah mm. made his debut at White Hart Lane last year. We got pumped 3-0 up until the point where he got taken off. Then we just fell apart. Yeah, he's great. He, I, I really like the look of him. That's the only time I've experienced it to he, he, that mentor. But he, he, I really like the look of mm. him. Um, and you're right. Yeah, he got taken off, and then we managed. We scored three goals quickly. Uh, yeah. Um, and you, you, you've got a soft spot for Rashford as well, haven't you? I fucking love Rashford, mate. I love him. He's in the Rashford fan club. I, I am. Think everyone's in the, I think everyone's in. You can't not be. But he's the maturity he's showing at such a young age and not just that we were talking this morning the way he strikes a ball he's such a class act yeah he's more than just pace he's not a speed merchant he's he has he, he he's such a good footballer for such a young age the way he struck that goal uh the struck the, the ball the free kick um against Selby going in the first yeah. that was incre an incredible free kick it like he had no right and yet he made it unstoppable. Yeah. Fantastic, um, amazing, and it was deliberate as well. So, you know, the ball over for Fellaini last night against Celta Vigo, a beautiful ball. Just it couldn't have been any better. And, and a lot of a lot of attacking midfielders in that position, I know he's a striker, but yeah. in that in that in that instance, would have whipped that ball over. They wouldn't have. It was almost like a guided missile to. to the, the way I, I can't I don't know what I'm getting at. It's just the way the way he struck, struck the ball. It would, instead, the easiest thing would have been to get his foot round it and curl it in, and, yeah. and hope, hopefully, you know, um, Flaney would have to glance it in. But the way he struck it was so straight, and it was so perfect that Flaney almost couldn't miss. Um, I just, yeah, I, I think he's great, and I think you don't need to buy another striker. You might need a backup. You might need Griezmann. Do you agree with that? Griezmann at number ten, and oh, uh, and, and, take, and, take and all day long. yeah, but so, so you know that that would be a different thing because he's playing behind the yeah. behind the front man. But Rashford is your forward. He has to be. He. I get why he didn't start against Ibrahimovic because he Ibrahimovic has a lot of money and, and has massive reputation and mm. you don't buy a player like him to not to not start him. But now he's gone. Or it looks like he won't play. May, may never play football again. Yeah, but, maybe. but certainly, I don't think he he'll be at United. You've got all you need, in my opinion, in Rashford. Yeah, I think the thing is for United and strikers next season is this is the first year since Fergie that we scored 100 goals in the campaign, right? Which is, amazing, which is amazing. I heard that last night, but I'd had a drink, right? I'd heard it last <laughs> it's night. It's true. You scored 51 goals in the Premier League and right. 49 in, in Cup no, competitions. No, FA Cup, so we, FA Cup, League Cup. I, I hope it's true because I've said it now. I heard it as well. I've heard it as but, well. But I've seen it in multiple sources. So either I've been duped and you've been duped. But that, that seems crazy that you scored 49 goals in Cup competitions. No, right. But you may well have done. Don't look at the numbers. Maybe we have, maybe we haven't. But I've heard that, so it's fact, right? So it's fact. But either way... I heard it. It was on the, ra on the bloody telly last night. <laughs> I'm not saying it isn't true, but it just seems crazy. And it does seem crazy. But regardless of how many United actually have scored, yeah. like, you can see a massive shift in how United are playing now under Mourinho in comparison to what we've seen under Van Hal. And David Moyes, yes, there's been a, a fucking load of frustrating draws, but a frustrating draw under Van Howe was like pulling teeth out. Yeah. Nil nil, there'll be w maybe one chance you might get. Mm. The frustrating draws under Jose Mourinho, we're having like 26 shots. Mm. Keepers are having wicked performances, and I'm sure Loris will have a great game on Sunday, but there's progression. And you know, if United do win the Europa League, League Cup, Europa League, Champions League football, that's a very successful first year for Mourinho. It is, it is, but I, I, yeah, I, I agree, and and because of that, he deserves more time. Mm. Um, but you're always gauged, always gauged on league position. Yeah, it's the league, it's the league. I suppose it's like it's painting over the cracks a little bit if you're winning the Europa League. But going into Sunday, I don't really know what to expect. I expect Mourinho to be 
a bit pragmatic in the way he's going to play. For him, it's it's a friendly. Mm. The only thing he cares about is coming out of this game with no injuries. Yeah, that's his priority from this match. I tell you, well, what you can expect from Spurs is um, high intensity uh, mm. to have absolutely zero time on the ball, um, to be forced to play football or go long, um, and then to have to deal with incredible movement from our front three players. That's been the key to our successes. I'm not saying that we, the, all of that will come to come to fruition. Yeah. That's the way we play when we're playing well. Um, it doesn't, doesn't really bode well because, you know, Eric Bai, he's now banned for the final. He's probably going to get rested. And Daley Blind's probably the best defender on the ball we've got. I expect Jones and Smalling to play against you. And neither of them are good if you intensely press them and force them to play football quickly. Yeah. I think they'll fuck up quite a lot, which yeah. means you're going to get possession high up the pitch, which is when you lose possession in your own half and your defence isn't in shape, yeah. when you've got players like Son, Ali and Kane who, who are moving, yeah. that's going to cause us a hell of a lot of problems. The other thing, the other thing also is Spurs have been really good at this season is uh, a defensive unit at home is very good. Mm. We, we've got a tiny football pitch. So hard to, to kind of work. We, we, we essentially switch between a back three and a back four uh, at will. So if we've got the ball, it turns to a back three, fullbacks push up. Mm. Um, but what actually happens as well is when we lose the ball in possession, um, the fullbacks sit back and it becomes a back five. Right. And then uh, Wanyama and probably Dembele will sit in front and it makes it really fucking difficult. I'm pissed off we never signed Dembele. Because that, that was at a point where we were still looking for midfield replacements and he was bossing us every time he played us. For, was it Fulham you signed him? Yeah, he's my favourite player. He's so good, he's so strong. He's the strongest human being on earth. <laughs> <laughs> he's, uh, uh, he hasn't even been our best player this year, but he's, when he plays, he, we, it's just, he, he, he makes things so difficult. He doesn't yeah. lose the ball. And and he, and he kind of palms off what other other with Wanyama and Dembele in that team. Yeah. It's, it's so, we're so strong. And I don't even know what midfield we're going to play. I'd be semi surprised if Pogba started, mm. and a Herrera will start. But then Fellaini maybe Fellaini can't. He's suspended, so Carrick maybe, and he hasn't got the legs to play that sort of energetic midfield role. Yeah. So we may have to play. We've got McTominay was a Scott McTominay made his debut against Arsenal, six foot four. Under 23 um, midfielder who about 18 months ago he was five foot four, and now he's six foot five. What's happened? He's just had some mega fucking growth spurt. Yeah. But he got brought on against Arsenal, and as I said, we are going to be playing some youth players in the next few weeks because Marino has already said he's effectively going to play an under 23s team against Crystal Palace in the last game of the season. Yeah, because that's not. three days before the Europa yeah, final. Yeah, yeah. But what's your prediction for the game? Obviously, it is. It's more than just the game because of the context of what it means for Spurs fans and last game at White Hart Lane. Same mm -hmm. thing happened at Upton Park. You know, what was it, 3-2 we lost that overall? Yeah, but you were winning right We were. We were, com we were quite confident, comfortable. Mm. And then all of a sudden, just the crowd, literally, you know, it's cliche, but they genuinely were the 12th man. And I yeah. sort of expect that. I think, I think um, I, I, yeah, he will. He'll be, the atmosphere will be incredible. Um, and, you know, I'm looking forward to that aspect to it. I, I, I think... I think we'll win 2 0. Yeah. I hope. I've, I think Mourinho's going into this wanting that 1 0. The party pooper. Get the goal in the, in, the, in the 30 second minute. Sit with the back six. Leave Rashford up front and just run his legs out. I, mean, I what, don't even think Rashford will even fucking start. One, what, one, one thing you might actually do is, if Martial's playing mm. is, uh, is do sit back, absorb pressure, because one of the ways to get at Pochettino's system, because all formations and tactics mm. are vulnerable to something is to sit back, wait and break. And if you've got the pace, if Rashford comes off the bench yeah. in the second half, if Martial's playing, these are pacey players, hit us on the break and then you can overload. Well, that's, that's how we beat Chelsea at home as well. Probably our best performance this season was matching Conte's system 3-5-2. Yeah. I think it's the second time maybe we played with that this season. And we had Rashford and Lingard playing up front as basically two strikers. Yeah. Balls over the top were causing them no end of problems. I remember, yeah. And maybe we can do the same thing against you. But That's probably the best. The best. It, maybe that will happen, but I don't think Mourinho gives a shit about the game other than just spoiling Spurs' party. <laughs> so I, I genuinely don't know what to expect in terms of the team, in terms of the tactics, but I don't think it's going to be one for the neutrals. I think I think Spurs are going to win. I think it will be, you know, I I'll probably, I'll probably will say 2-0 to Spurs. Really? I genuinely think that United are... The league is done. The league was finished at Swansea, as far as Mourinho is concerned. Mm. We saw that against Arsenal. Arsenal was a, t a game where 
we were still in the top four chase. We had all the players available. We could have got Arsenal because we know what Arsenal are like this season. We saw yeah. you tore them apart at White Hart Lane. Yeah. We drew one all at Old Trafford. They got a 90th 90, 90 minute equaliser with their first shot on target. That game, they weren't in control of it at all. They played with such a high press. Yeah. We just didn't get enough balls in behind. We sat deep. We yeah. lost 2 0. Maybe the exact same thing is going to happen at White Hart Lane. I don't know, but what's your prediction? I think it's obviously going to be an emotional game for Spurs fans. We saw how much that helped West Ham at Upton Park, and I'm sort of expecting the same thing here. But you can tell from the tone of my voice, I'm, I'm in Mourinho's mindset now. The league is done. Yeah, We've yeah. basically got three friendlies until Stockholm. Uh, but what do you think the game will be? How do you think the game will pan out? Will Mourinho spoil Spurs' party? Probably not. He will try to, but I think your team's too good. Uh, thank you for watching the preview. Thank you for Flav for coming on. Pleasure. Um, good luck on Sunday. Cheers, uh, mate. Good luck at Wembley next year as well. You fucking need that. Yep. Uh, <laughs> sorry. That's another video. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, drop a like on the video. Subscribe to United People's TV if you want. We'll see you soon. Take it easy.